Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm actually doing it as I'm driving into work. Um, the turkey for the stuffing. Stick of butter, celery and onions, make them translucent. Then throw in, um, take it off the heat, throw in the stuffing, some pepper, thyme, sage, and parsley, and put those into the pot, um, and then stir it. Now, I do that by generally putting the lid on and swirling the, the pot around. Um, Hopefully then at that point you'll have the um, turkey needs to be cleaned. You need to check the front of the turkey. There's where the flap is. And then normally where the hole is where the turkey goes, that's the back. Or where the uh, stuffing would, uh, the other part of the stuffing would go as you sit up. So the breasts are up is what it comes down to. The legs are down. So you put, the first thing I normally do is I will stuff the bird from the front, which means I'm going to turn it upside down on the board, and I'm going to stuff the front of the of the turkey where the uh, chicken and giblets and all that stuff, or the uh, the turkey neck and all that crap was, um, and then stuff that relatively tight, pull it tighter over the top, and then pin it to the bottom side of the of the bird. Um, then I'll. As I pick it up, then I will put it in the actual roaster um, and put it on the, uh, you know, put it in the pan. And then I'll stuff the back end while it's in the pan. So you can um, do all of that. How you know it's a little bit different the other way, but after you've stuffed it, then you'll take the the uh, legs and you put them into that. that I don't know what you call it, the tail, um, and, and kind of make sure that they're stuck together in there um, so they don't separate. You really don't want the legs to separate while it's cooking. Um, sometimes they have those plastic things in there. I'm not a big fan of keeping the plastic in because I don't know if it's going to melt. Um, I think they're probably okay without, with, you know, they're probably okay, they won't melt, but um, I never take that chance. So if you can't do that, then you can also, you could string them together if you wanted to. But if they, if they, if they don't, if they fall out or do anything like that, bottom line is, is that the, um, the legs will fall off and the stuffing will be lost and you don't want that. So, um, so I stuff that back end too pretty good um, and, and make sure that it's, it mounds over a little bit and then you put the dog, the, the, uh, the legs into that, that back section, that tail or whatever you want to call it. After that, you bake it, you baste it every so often. Um, I think normally what we do is we'll tent it for the first uh, 45 minutes to an hour and then we, we um, go from there with it. It's It's... It, it's going to create a lot of juice. So, other than that, though, any other sh tips or anything, you can always call me and we'll go from there. So, hope you have a great day. Love you. Bye.